So somebody shows you a function and asks you the question, is this a probability density function? You can prove it and here's how. So here's my question. Show that f of x is a PDF. Here is f of x. f of x is equal to x plus 2 on 16 between 0 and 4 and 0 otherwise if it's not between 0 and 4. So uh, I'm just going to sketch this really quickly. Boom, boom. Uh, this is a straight line, believe it or not, because I can rewrite that as, uh, I'll just write it down here, f of x equals x on 16 plus 2 on 16, which is 1 eighth. Now, what does that mean? Uh, now, it means that it starts here at, it has a y-intercept of 1 eighth, and x on 16, it's a gentle slope, a 1 on 16th slope, and it looks something like that. Now, I don't know what that particular value is, I don't really care. Um, the probability density function is between 0 and 4. So that's where 4 is. This is where 0 is. Everywhere else it's, it's 0. There's a straight line here across there. There's a straight line here across there. So that's the only bit that we're interested in. Now, for something to be a probability density function, the area underneath the probability density function has to be equal to 1. And so the question we're really asking here is, is the area underneath the probability density function 1? It must be 1 because the probability of something happening is 1 and the probability density function tells us the probability of something happening. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Integration again. So I'm just going to switch colors here and I'm going to say that we know that 1 will be equal to the integral of x plus 2 on 16 uh, with respect to x between our two values. Okay, So we're saying that 1 will be equal to this, or at least we hope it will be. So now we just need to show that it is. I'm going to integrate that. I'm going to integrate it between 4 and 0, and I'm going to see what answer pops up down here. And if the answer is 1, then I'm in business. Now, it's going to be easier to integrate it in this form than it was in the other form, so I'm going to integrate it like that. So there's my first line of integration. I've just integrated it using this here, so it's x squared over 32 plus 1 eighth x. Now I'm going to sub in 4 and sub in 0, and subtract 1 from the other. All right, so we're in a pretty good spot now. I've subbed 4 in, I've subbed 0 in. Now this bit here, 0 squared over 32 plus 1 eighth times 0, that's just 0. It happens pretty often with integration. And this bit here, 4 squared over 32, that's 16 divided by 32, uh, which is 1 half, plus 1 eighth times 4, which is 4 over 8, which is 1 half. So now I have 1 half plus 1 half minus 0, which is equal to 1. Ha! Oh, done. So up the top I had 1 equals this, question mark, and now I can show that actually it does. Tick, therefore f of x is a PDF, a probability density function. Now, I'm not entirely happy with what I've done up here. I really should leave the one off entirely to begin with, because I don't know. And like this little question mark notation, I like using it, but it's probably not great. So let's just leave it like this and say, let's solve it, let's solve it, let's solve it. The answer is one, great, therefore, it's a PDF. That is how you prove a function is a probability density function.